Good day fellas, I hope you are ready for your extra daily dose of skill and today we are going to play with T-34S By the looks of it we never ever had uh, a video with this tank so why not to do that So, uh, what is the plan, what is the hope and what is the dream um, Looking into matchmaking we are sitting pretty good to be fair with you um, We have a tier 7 matchmaking, no, but skill tier 7 is uh, making you a bottom tier Yes sir, it is making me a bottom tier, but um, it is very very good map for us So if we are going to do everything properly, if we will get into the bush uh, We are going to have time of our life fellas And let's see, are we in the bush successfully? And I believe so we are, beautiful Okay, we are sitting in the bush, we are going to activate our binos and at this point we can chill, we can relax and we can make um, enemies suffer in a way. So, this is very very basic play in Kempenovka field and honestly it doesn't really matter with what kind of tank we would play with. Uh, if we are playing with a tier 5 and we have binos, once again it doesn't matter is it uh, is it a light tank or is it tank destroyer which has more than 445 meters view range, we are okay. We are okay fellas. Um, also one more thing to say, I have a feeling enemies have a light tank themselves here. Um, I am pretty sure about this because our guys are probably getting spotted and since our guys are getting spotted There is only one position from where enemies could uh, uh, try to spot obviously maybe Maybe they have someone here, but I believe I would get out spotted myself So at this point this is a uh, pure relaxation and this is chilling Still do you have any other options how you could play in this map? Honestly, uh, to be fair with you, I do not really think so. What is the other option? Other option is probably to um, snipe from here going on top of the hill is definitely not an option. And um, I believe that's fair to say. <coughs> also, once again, uh, enemy light tank is doing great job. I don't really think they have IMD or maybe they do uh, Maybe they do have IMD somewhere here in the middle, you never know. Anyways, our TOG is doing some heavy lifting, he decided not to move from the spawn and we are getting a bit of assisting damage from the enemy art uh, who decided to use his keyboard. I get, I get the flex fellas, I truly get the flex art with a keyboard and everything, that's pretty impressive but uh, not in this situation. Once again, can we change something here? No, we can enjoy ourselves. Now, speaking about the gun of this tank, this gun is pretty much the uh, bad gun which you shouldn't use on the T-34 uh, standard edition. Um, it has 120mm of penetration, 110 alpha damage and 950 shell velocity with the standard shells. And with the gold shells it has 150mm of penetration, so pretty much you are getting extra 30 penetration. Uh, and you have the same shell velocity and so on and so on. So it's kind of debatable is it, uh, is it worth it or it's not really worth it, right? Uh, for example, if I would compare this tank against the, um, let's say, if I would compare this vehicle... Um, Against the standard T-34, in my opinion, this tank is worse than T-34, that's what I think. We are getting deeper into the bush for obvious reasons, and once again, uh, I do not really think we are going to win this, but nothing what we can change about that at this point. Being bottom tier sometimes sucks, uh, obviously some of you would say it sucks uh, more often, but uh, okay, fair enough, nothing what we can change there. Um, once again, at this point, we are just relaxing and we are waiting until uh, our clickers will do some heavy lifting or anyone else, right? Um, in the same time, I can truly understand why our TOG is not uh, making any pressure whatsoever because he is slow and uh, uh, this is definitely not the most enjoyable experience ever. Now speaking about enjoyable experience, we have some sniper schnitzels who could punish this Panther M10 and Panther M10 uh, as a tank, he doesn't have that much armor fellas, trust me on this one. Meanwhile Covenanter still not spotted so once again Again, my suspicion is still the same. He is sitting in that main spotting bush. 
can we get some support against the Vaka 3001 hash? I honestly doubt it and I know I cannot shoot. Even though I would be able to penetrate this on E or T34 doesn't really matter. It's just simply not worth it. Skill you have 1000 already. Yep. And this is only the start. We still can get a lot of things done and we still can win this battle, fellas. Um, only one thing which we must have is to be patient. And believe me, I am very, very well aware of that. It is very annoying. It is uh, sitting in the bush uh, can take quite a bit of uh, brain power, right? By wanting to go in front, by uh, dreaming about beating the living crap out of the enemies. But once again, this is not an option. This is just how this game is looking like. Meanwhile, while we are sitting in the bush and while we are getting free assisting damage, fellas, index page is always there for you if you are curious about game i don't know with a t34 for example you can find the things quite easily you can see the equipment setup which i recommend to use expectation val uh, values for mark of excellence and in the same time field modifications and so on so on you know the drill fellas index page is made for you uh, to find youtube videos easier to see the um what kind of crew setup to use on the tank and so on so on keep this in mind fellas so who seven minutes fellas of sitting in the bush skill we expected a medium gameplay not light on gameplay sorry fellas sorry shit happens okay cover three is dead but at least he claimed them only with himself hard one Absolutely hard one. Okay, look at this. Even enemy level hash is trying to get a bit closer. We have Waka sitting here, but I believe the biggest problem at this point is uh, our artists are not protected. And if I am going to shoot, this is going to be uh, quite a sad story, I would say. Yep, what did I said, fellas, about Covenanter? What did I said about Covenanter in this bush? I knew it, but I couldn't blind fire from here. My blind shots would lead us to get effed. Meanwhile, enemy Arta is dead. That's very good. Our Tog should have a nice um, angle to punish the Starva, and he is doing that. And at the same time, enemy Vaka is taking one for the team. Skill, you are seven and a half minutes into the battle, and you are still sitting in the same bush. Absolutely, yes, because it is, it is the way to play, fellas. It is the way to play. So if you have this kind of situation, you are getting yourself coffee, you are getting yourself tea, and you are watching uh, Simpsons in the background. That's what you are doing, fellas. That is what you are doing. At this point, I really, really, really doubt we can uh, get involved in any shape or any form. Unfortunately. Mm. We have a cut tier 5 and we have the 82. Yeah, this is this is kind of a game over. Our artist will try to punish this gentleman once or twice, and that's always nice and always welcome. But the thing is, fellas, it is it is a game over in a way, right? Meanwhile, speaking about the game over, we are going to hit this guy in the face for once. That's okay. I do not really mind this whatsoever. I am very, very well aware of this Covenanter. Believe me, I am aware of this guy. Now we are going to try to be the living crap out of this mother trucker. It doesn't really matter. He is going with the APCR. So honestly, his gun is just simply not that great. Right? So he cannot do absolutely anything. I'm trying to run for my life. And luckily we are escaping. Although I believe we are doomed by the um, Wolverine. That's okay. Listen, fellas, it is a tier 5 game in the tier 7 matchmaking. I can't cry that much. I cannot complain that much. I wonder how much uh, the Covenanter spotted, though. Uh, I'm very, very interested. Okay, uh, let's teleport to the end of this game and let's see the score, shall we? 
And we are back fellas with a defeat but I am proud of my result and I would not do anything else in this game. I'm truly happy how everything went. So we have 300 damage and 2.3 thousand assisting damage. That's very very good. Uh, we are on top by experience. Obviously by the damage we are somewhere near the bottom but it's not about damage. At least not all the time right. Meanwhile Covenanter spotted only 1000 and he was very very uh, patient. I need to give a credit for him. Um, and we made 78,000 profits as well. Now, looking into the gun of this tank, boys and girls, ladies and gentlemen, um, and comparing the bad gun on the T-34, uh, for example, right? Uh, the bad gun on the T-34 is this one. And as you can see, well, it's not identical, but it's quite close to that. Uh, it has a bit better penetration than the gun on with a 76 millimeters or 76 millimeters gun, I suppose to say. So I am, I am not actually correct. The uh, T-34 shielded gun is a bit better. Now we know. Okay, let's go to the game, shall we? And we are back with round number two. Okay, fellas, uh, this is not looking that great. Um, what do I mean by saying this? Unfortunately, but we have a tier 7 matchmaking. So this is like being stuck in the nightmare, boys and girls, ladies and gentlemen. Being stuck in the nightmare. So as you can see, um, a tier 7 matchmaking, we need to be very cautious. We need to uh, play somehow smart. We cannot be too aggressive. Um, and I think we are going to play in the heavy line. Skill, you just said you shouldn't be aggressive. You should be smart and you are going into the heavy line. Exactly, but it can work and it will work. Now, uh, how we are going to do the thing? So first things first, um, we are going to take this typical bush here and from this typical bush we can spot uh, guys like Pavlak tank or, any, or anyone else sitting here, right? This is the main plan and this is main hope for us. So looking into this, this is not looking that bad, although gun depression is definitely not ideal for this tank. And look at this beauty there is a tourist somewhere here in the back and once again we have quite a bit of uh, um we have some support fellas trust me on this one we have some support meanwhile elc uh even oh oh that's a weird one okay uh this gentleman did not outspot me that's weird Okay, beautiful. We have a very, very, very nice angle here. We are spotting sniper schnitzels who are sitting around this area. We are spotting cover uh, T1 heavy. We are spotting cover 2. This is kind of dream come true. And fellas, in order to be useful in the game, you do not necessarily need to do damage. No, but skill. I'm not getting W8 for that. Yeah, you are not getting W8 for spotting. I, I must admit that. Uh, it's pity and after all you should play only for W8. I'm joking fellas. I'm joking. I'm being sarcastic um, Anyways, what I want to say I want to say for Position which we currently uh, Have it is a very good performance what we are doing here We are spotting enemy forces wh whoever is sitting in the back and we are providing our team with pretty much ability to do some damage and call me dirty But I think it is absolutely amazing performance now by any shape or any form, we are not winning this game yet, right? There is still plenty of stuff for us to do and uh, um, we will try to do our best. And look at this beauty, Mr. Chaffee, how are you doing? One shot to the Mr. Chaffee and uh, we are spotted. Okay, that's fair. Nothing what we can change about this. At this point, we are going to retreat from this position. Skill, uh, may you tell me why you are planning to retreat from this position? Well, it doesn't look like we could get more use from all of this. And we can suspect enemies will try to make uh, uh, some kind of pressure for us this way, right? And how we are going to prepare for this, we are going to destroy the um, um, house in the base. 
So if enemies uh, wants to cap the base, they need to pretty much go super aggressively, which is not going to be that easy thing to do. And at this point, I think I am going to eliminate Mr. Chaffee. I know this might look like a stupid thing to do, and maybe it is stupid thing to do, but I am willing to take the risk. So I am building some speed, and I am going to approach this Mr. Chaffee. Once again, this Chaffee shouldn't enjoy himself. I can promise you that. That's one in the ass. Beautiful. That's two in the ass, even better. Um, now we have a nice angle on the cover two. For cover two, we are going to load the gold ammunition. I am feeling completely fine, and let's try to eliminate him from the game. He is dead, and at this point, we want to run. Skill, are you sure about this? Never ever was so sure. Okay, so what is the position where we want to play now? Um, I am returning to this bush. What is the reason being uh, is because from this bush we are going to spot uh, incoming forces like so. Actually, I'm going to take lower bush. Lower bush it is. Look at this. We are in position. Beautiful. That's completely fine. And let's see what we can do. By the way, if you would play for mark of excellence on this tank, I believe we are already on the third mark of excellence performance. I am pretty sure about this. Actually, I can check it out. In order to get mark of excellence on this tank, you need 1200 damage. So this is overall information. Well, not necessarily damage. Damage plus assisting slash uh, tracking damage. This is how it works, right? Okay, let's see. Mm -hmm. He's down to one shotable, so what am I thinking? I am thinking about crafting a nice angle to simply eliminate him from the game. Wait for it, wait for it, wait for it. We should spot him in approximately 3, 2, 1. Beautiful. That was very, very nice. Meanwhile, as you can see, the tier 7 stopped here for a moment. It doesn't really matter that much because we are spotting him. And that's pretty good. We are going for a blind shot. We are going for another blind shot. And he is dead. Excellent. Meanwhile, I can see Arta trying to uh, show who is the boss here, but not today, buddy. Okay, what we know, we know Ikea Sniper Schnitzel is sitting somewhere here. We are very, very well aware of that. Um, and at this point, I would say we are trying to get a bit involved into this game. Uh, we will try to over push the EK and hopefully we will be able to slaughter him. Oh, cover one as well. Ikea and cover one. This is not um, an ideal situation for us. Ikea and cover one. Okay, let's see. Uh, can we outspot this cover one? I do not really think so. Oh, actually we can. Okay. Okay. That's nice. That's very nice. Beautiful. Look at this beauty, fellas. Look at this beauty. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, fellas. Yeah, that's fine. I am greedy at this point. I am very, very well aware of that. Speaking about the greediness, there is 88 who is trying to be annoying. And he is doing his job pretty well. By saying he's doing his job, I mean he is definitely annoying for us. And at this point, I am going for this IKEA. Now the question is... Now the question is, can we survive this? No? No? No! Game! Game! Oh, yep, Tararai. That was a hard one. Okay, at this point, what am I thinking about? I am thinking about beating the living crap out of... Oh, I am dead meat. Oh, I am a dead meat, boys and girls, ladies and gentlemen. Okay, I did not saw that one coming. Um, He got me well. Once again, not a bad game in any shape or any form. Uh, we have 900 damage, we have 1,500 assisting damage, and I think we played for the best of our abilities. Let's teleport to the scoreboard and let's see where we ended up with another defeat. Shame. And we are back. Actually, we have some blind damage. Look at this. 1,000 damage, 1.7 thousand assisting damage. Once again, first by experience, this time fourth by the damage. And... 
I am not crying about this. I am feeling very, very great. Keep this in mind, fellas. Being bottom tier is hard, okay? Being bottom tier, you are feeling like you are uh, food uh, in the bottom of the uh, meat chain, you know? This is the thing. Anyways, let's go for one more. Why the heck not? And we are back, fellas. So what do we have? We have Empire's Border um, Standard Battle. Okay, that will work. So what do we want to do in this kind of situation? In this kind of situation, I would say um, we want to... Actually, you know what? I was considering my life choices to go here, but I changed my mind. Instead of going super aggressively like this, we are going to do something different. <coughs> And we are going to try to make a bit of pressure like so. Um, is it going to be optimal choice for us? Are we going to get enough use? I do not know, but it is only one way how we can check the things out and by doing some action, okay? That's what we can do. Okay, so... Now what we could meet, we could meet medium tank, Estrava 74, Skoda, maybe even 88 if he is up for, uh, um, you know, traveling experience, if he is a tourist, he can easily come to this side. So at this point, I would love to see someone playing somewhere around this area. In fact, I think I can be a bit more aggressive. I am uh, hoping our guys will be able to support us. I see the Panzer and Panzer can actually help us against the Chaffee and let's see what we can do. Okay, Mr. Chaffee, how are you doing? Are you enjoying yourself? Skoda is also here. Oi, 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 Okay, Skoda is trying to get involved to the maximum. That's completely understandable. I really want to delete the Skoda from the game if possible and I'm dead. Ay ay ay. Too aggressive fellas. Too aggressive. We costed a lot of hit points for enemy forces but that's what we have in the third game. Shame. It was worth it for us. I don't know. Maybe we could get so much more use by not trying to play aggressively. But it is how it is. I don't really think I throw it a single shot. But that's what we have. Anyways, looking into our performance and looking into the two games which we had. Um... Once again, it was a hard session. It wasn't easy by any shape or any form, but... I would say all in all our session was successful. So after two games we have only 600 damage but we have 2000 average assisting damage which is huge for a tier 5. Any tier 5 light would be proud of this score. The last game was what like what 800 damage and 200 assisting damage so um, the average damage would raise up to 700 and assisting damage would go down to like 1.3 thousand or something. Still not a bad score. How do I rate T34 in my opinion that tank is in the best case scenario playable that's what i think uh because of the gun bloom of the gun is like three suns so yeah that's the worst thing anyways that's what i have to do uh, for you in extra channel i hope you are having a good one and i hope you are enjoying yourself and see you very very soon skill is out for today peace